That is an ugly, scary face. <laughs> Earth is closed again. Infinity. Smashing. Hello, everybody. It's your old pass. Hello, smashing with another fantastic tale a smashing and bash. Slow motion. And in this tale, boom, look at this, Marvel Avengers Infinity Pack, the children of Thanos, look at how big this box is and cool that artwork is, and if you missed out on the other ones, like individually, now's your chance to get them, like I did, I missed out. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the front of the box right here, it's so big, I'm just gonna pan up like this so you can check it out, look at that, oh, those figures you get in there. We got a side view, look at Purple Grimace, or Bronze Grimace right there, and scroll down right here, Thanos, we got Proxima Midnight, yeah, and then we got Ebony Ma. <laughs> Ebony Ma. And here's a back shot of the awesome artwork in the back, look at Thanos right there, in that big old like front right there, this looks so cool. And we got uh, Proxima right there, and then the other ones are in the background, a big old face right there, like uh, the big dude, I just said his name and I forgot it already. Yeah, that guy, Cole Obsidian right here. And then look, we got like Thanos right there with the fisted glove right there. It's cool artwork on this box from Marvel Legend. And then we got like, uh, what's that elf dude's name right down there? Corvus Glaive. Well, seriously, I'm happy that Amazon did this. Oh, by the way, it's an Amazon exclusive. It's this cool way to catch up and get them if you didn't already have them. But you guys probably do, right? Because you're cooler than I am. But I'm not, because I had to get it this way. But I'm happy, because now you can see this tail and smash it open. All right, let's go ahead and quick it, quick it now. All right, and here they are halfway out of the box. Pretty much what you saw through the window. Okay, all right, here's everything outside the box, everything that you get and all the accessories right in front of them. Let's start with the end with the little Cole right here, the big dude. He has like this big old like pix hammer thing and I'm sure it looks like it does a lot of damage right here. It's just big old, like a big old weapon right there and it's it's pretty just like, uh, yeah, just bleak or blank or like dull. And then we got the glaive, or I don't know if that's the right word, a double-ended spear thing um, for, uh, I keep forgetting that one's name, the elf guy. <laughs> uh, this looks a little bit more better than uh, Cole's big old ice pick thing but it has like some different colorings. It's still cool though. I like it, it's cool enough. And we go on the purple grimace right here. He doesn't need anything because he got some infinity gauntlets. He has a big old crispy arm right here after like the snap right there. Check that out right there. As soon as I focus in, there we go. Uh, you can see it's all like jacked up, marred looking, everything's fused to his skin, hurting. And then you get like his face right there, like half burnt grimace face right there. Look at that right there. Oh no, there we go. Um, and he doesn't look as happy as he does on the default head he came with. <laughs> and then we go like, uh, a Benny Ma right there, he doesn't have anything because he's like a, like a psychic or telekinetic, right? So we go on to, uh, what's her name, Proxima, and we got, she got a sword. Check out her sword right there, it's a little bit more detailed or thrilling than like a, um, Obsidian's dull blank looking uh, pick right there, and then she got, this thing looks kind of cool. Got a little bit of like some lighting, laser effects looking right there. Um, as soon as I get focused in right here, come on thing, there we go. See it, like the little bits of blues right there, and then this right there on a the pick end too of it too. It looks a little bit cool. I like the sword better though. I think the sword's just easier to pose with and cooler looking. All right, let's go ahead and start with Proxima. Take a look at it real quick right here. Let's like, see some detailing right here. So you know, like for Marvel Legends, this is actually pretty good detailing. I, I noticed in this pack, of course, it's more of a premium pack because it's like it was like a hundred bucks or something. You get like five figures though. But look at that. That looks right here. Look at my camera's even tracking her face right now because it got good details. Like woo 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 Proxima, and she's big too. She's a big girl. Uh, but look at that. Look at armor points right there. Little armor shoulder piece right there. Uh, not overly detailed, but just enough. I mean, that's 
just enough. What are you gonna be doing with these things? What else can you be doing with these things? You have to play with them, display, display them, or take photos with them, all of the above. You're not gonna get to take a nap. You're not gonna take a nap with me. <laughs> what else could you ask for out of a review for detailing? Anyway, back in line, elf girl. Oh, no, that's, well, I guess she could. She got some horns, right? Then we go to Squidward right here. Take a look at this guy. I'm sorry, Earth is closed, Squidward. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty good representation of Momo's face right there. I mean, look at that. Look, maybe uh, Proxima is better because like now my camera face tracking is not picking him up. Ah, he just has a squiddy face and like overexposed highlights from his paint. It's bright paint coloring right here I'm seeing. The zebra stripes are going off. But anyway, like the little gold checkering and his cloak thing. Uh, drapes soft right there. Uh, plain um, base paint for his pants and his clothes and stuff. Other than like the cloak thing that goes over. It's cool. Uh, on this hat, I got some riffles in his hair. I, I said his hat, I meant his head. <laughs> um, his hands, long gangly things right there. Like, uh, so he could wave his fingers and levitate things and throw them into like um, Tony Stark and uh, the magician. So back in line, Squidward. And then we, you know, I'm gonna save Thanos for last. Grimace is for last. And then to the elf, the elf guy that I always forget his name. I'm just call him the elf. Look at that face right there. As soon as I ho hone in right there. Ooh. All right, there we go right here. I mean, look at that face though. That is an ugly, scary face you'd see in a horror movie right there. If you, you woke up in the middle of the night, you saw that in the corner of your bed right there, I don't think you'd uh, you'd be like in a mental institute telling people that you saw that thing right there. <laughs> Look, he got pretty good detailing though. I like all like the holes and raggedness they gave him. Like he's like some kind of dark looking elf thing. Uh, but look, he's pretty tall right there. Um, yeah, I think he's a little bit more. I like the detail in more in this guy than the other one so far. He, the other ones are more plain. But see, look, look at the back of the cloak right there. All these like uh, hieroglyphic texturing. It feels like braille and stuff. Feels really good. Looks cool even at the bottom. Nice uh, highlighting of different dark paints. But yeah, he's cool. All right, so let's take a look at the big guy right here, Obsidian right here, this big old like hulking beast thing. Uh, he, he's, he's like literally like their version of Hulk, I assume. He's just huge. Uh, look at his face right there. It's like. I mean, cool if he was showing some teeth though. He just got like a what is that? Like a third eye right there. Look at that. A third eye. I don't even know. That's crazy. Looking at through the camera. But anyway, look at his uh, his. Um, so this guy over to Elf even, I like his detailing, cause, or at least with his like uniforms right there, you could feel that soft, like it's an overpiece. A little sash right here to even, like you probably could take it off if you want to. Armor piece, like they went more, like some of them is like less, some of them are more. This guy's more out of the five pack, I'd say. Um, and then his arms are okay, uh, nothing too stunning, but diff definitely different colors going there. But his armor points looks cool, and then like his boots even, where it's like a little bit more plain, but at this it looks cool i like it and i always like big hulking figures like this dude so win and then crispy mickey d's grimace right here oh no he just knocked down his children he's the father abuser oh i just snapped look he's already like snapping his finger right here like he's gonna like pick his nose he can't because he only has a single joint but that's an articulation anyway look at big pr uh, purple grimace's face right there like he's all happy right here compared to the thing he's like ooh, he's seen that shaquille like a uh, gif where he's just like jigging like that jiggling like that i always see it pop up like in my stock feeds <laughs> when we're like bullying up and getting our prices are going up we see that shack dance and he just reminds me of a purple like shack to dance and purple grimace like <laughs> his armor though his armor looks cool got good textures and gold colors but his skin his face and his his uh, arms and stuff just seem kind of plain to me but it's still cool i'm really not too picky so i love marvel legends um the rest of his cloak is cool just plain old brown wrinkles for the pants and stuff boots yeah i figured like i was saying like the other ones seem more detailed like grimace right here you would think he's a centerpiece they'd put more attention to him but no especially like the arms he's like the lesser to detail i think but just enough i guess all right so let's take a look at articulation real quick um start there with different so i guess i gotta blast through all of them quick to quick let's start with uh old um proxima here if I could like get on her. Ooh, I'm touching her breast because I was trying to lock in. I was trying to focus lock. I was touching her chest. <laughs> ah, I'm touching my boobies. He's trying to focus lock my ass. Anyways, uh, let's see. The head goes left and right. The hair does kind of get in the way. 
right there so she does go up and down but limits it to the back range right there um, let's see right here Ooh, somebody, yeah there we go and then the arm flaps like a chicken forward backwards and for this female figure she does have double joints right there you know I always say a lot of Marvel uh, female characters they just have a single joint for some reason but she has a double one so that's cool maybe because she's so big uh, the rotation in the wrist and the hinge that goes up and down well, the arm does the same thing she got that ab crunch up there doesn't really move that much but it gives you something and then she has a she has no waist hole so she kind of sucks in the midsection like for articulation uh look at that great forward push kick in action for the legs side kick in action is good upper thigh swivel right there double joints in the knees and then we go down no calf swivel but we have ankle pivot and the hinge it goes up up and down uh, so that's cool the proxima leg does the same thing yeah right there I'm sorry, Earth is reopened, Squidward. Here we are with Squidward right here. All right, there we go right here. Locked in right here. Look at Squidward right here. Head moves really good. Do a 360 like the Exorcist right here. Up and down motion, forward and backward, flapping like a... Ooh, he's stiff right there. Like a Squidward chicken. Uh, does he have a bicep swivel? Yeah, he does have a bicep swivel. And he has those double jointed elbows right there. Wrist swivel's good and the hinge in action. Well, the arm does the same thing right there, but his um, his ab crunch right here is a little bit better in Proxima's, so he got that motion, but they don't have any waist swivels right there, that sucks right there. So, and uh, ooh, oof, oof. his push kicking action kind of sucks, he's limited right there, side kicking's cool. Uh, he does have the thigh swivel right there, and, and stiff double joints in the knees, I have to like, heat that up later, no calf swivel though. And the same old, ooh, look at that, he got some good ankle hinging now, and pivot. And the other leg does the same thing. Back in line, Squidward. Earth is closed again. All right, I'm going to move to the Dark Elf. I like doing Thanos last right here. But his head right here, it's going to go move left and right. And a little bottom piece moves up with it. The hood kind of rocks forward and backward. Not as much motion as some of the other ones. Uh, his arm motion forward and backward kind of hindered by that. But otherwise, he flaps really good. And he has that little like double joint. It works really well. Um, and then the same wrist swivels and pivot up and down arm does the same thing right there let's see his push kick oh yeah look at that push kick in action right there gets really good all right so that's really good right there and then he has that thigh swivel double jointed knees and the pivot and the ankle right there and the, and the hinge up and down is good the leg does the same thing but did i skip his like torso right there i think i did right there oh right, yeah so his torso right here he does have a waist swivel and he has like an upper ab crunch so i'm gonna say he has the best like a torso motion out of the bunch so far we're gonna put him back to the line all right it's cool obsidian let's see. oh no the dark elf he wanted a hug before we went uh let's see right here all right here we go look at that big old noggin well, actually it's not so big for his body right there it goes left and right looks all the way around up and down decent motion forward and backwards pretty good but his flapping action is going to kind of suck because of that thing big cool piece right there but this one moves a little bit better but he, again he has like a piece of armor skin or something there does he have a bicep swivel no but he has a big bicep look at those tries right there uh massive single joint right there and then wrist swivel and that big old hinge right there goes up and down uh their arms gonna do the same thing and then his body motion um he's gonna have a lower swivel and looks like some kind of like rock or like a hinge probably in the upper ab right there but it's not gonna move that much because it's a cool armor piece see his legs his legs it gets it up a little bit of push kick in action right there let's see the side kick in action pretty good uh he got like a big old doubles joint in his knee right there it's a little stiff but it's there so he can move those, bend those knees back. Uh, no calf swivel. None of these guys really have calf swivels right here, but his ankle, his ankle has that hinge. It goes up and down and it swivels a little bit. Another leg does the same thing. Uh, yeah, it's creaky, creaky. I say that thigh swivel. Yeah, yeah, I think I mentioned he had a thigh swivel. Call obsidian. I didn't realize it, but it was just like you better call, call obsidian, like call Tarot when you're call co obsidian. <laughs> Okay, Pebble Grimace time, Mickey D, Happy in the Meals, look at that face right there, as soon as he focuses in, he's all happy, because he can say, mmm, Shaq Jiggy, yay, <laughs> he got that uh, snapping finger right there, but if only he knew what it was, in. well, I think he kind of knew, he was just ready to pay that price, but left and right action, up and down real good, look at that chin, that butt chin right there, forward and backward really good, uh, flap like a Thanos chicken, and his bicep swivel works cool, but here's the thing, he doesn't have a double joint, it's like culls, uh, just a big old single joint, that's unlimited. But his wrist swivel is pretty good, that hinge works, uh, and the other like infinity gauntlet hand does the same thing, arm. Uh, look at that big old like ab crunch hinge right there, so he's like, hey, the infinity G 
gems for breakfast. Oh, you do like some ab crunches right there, but um, yeah, he does have a waist solo, so that's cool. That's cool right there. Uh, push kick in action. Look at he's got it. All right. Side kick in action. Yeah. Thigh swivel. Yep. Uh, double joints and the knees right here. That part comes out too. Just a little stiff right there. You gotta like heat them up sometimes. See that one work better. Uh, no thigh swivel. But big old hinge in the foot that works all right. Um, and a pivot that you can pivot around doing poses and stuff. Pilates. Uh, and the other leg does the same thing. That'll snap, snap you out of existence. Okay, all right, let's bust out the tape, see how tall these guys, because you can just read in the fine print, but it's cooler just to see a tape do it. Tall girls, eight inches. She doesn't look like it, but she is. Same thing with uh, Squidward right here. He's just under eight, probably like seven and three quarters. Thanos, Thanos is like just under nine inches. And then the elf guy, if I lean him back, he's like up to spike tip. He's like about eight inches, maybe just a tad under. But big dude right here, big dude is like right at nine inches. He's like a little bit taller than Thanos. All right, here they are next to Tony Stark. You can tell these figures are big. Look how they dwarf them. All right, and here they are next to Spider-Man. Again, look at that size difference right there. There they are all stacked up together. Okay, so what about this box right here? I normally smash Marvel Legends boxes, but uh, in this case, this box is big and cool, and I love the artwork in the background, so we're gonna go ahead and keep it. All right, so let's wrap up this tale. We're gonna keep this Marvel Legends box, which I actually usually smash them, like I said, but it's just cool, it's different. Um, but these guys are just really cool. They're awesome, Purple Grimace and his children right here and his offspring. Big old cool obsidian, you better cow obsidian. Or like, what does it go? You better cow tab, bro. <laughs> Anyways, these guys are cool. If you didn't get them like me, then that's something you may want to think about. I like how Amazon's offered them all in one boxes. I like, they should do that with other lines, like other characters, that would be cool, I'd be interested. But y'all let me know what you think about them. Bounce tales in the comments below. Until next tale, smash your bell, smash your thumb, subscribe if you had to, because we are offsprings of Grimace in Call of City and all his other children smashing out.